these days, there are so many other choices that you can make uh, when you want to invest with higher yield. No? Yes. Uh, issue one says, because corporations in the Philippines have been, uh, for example, issuing a lot of uh, bonds, no? corporate bonds, uh -huh. uh, especially this first five months of the year, uh, because of the very good fundamentals of the Philippines. No? I mean, generally the global backdrop is very cloudy, you know, and uh, as the rating agency S&P had said, the Philippines uh, together with Indonesia is a few of the bright spots that you will see in this cloudy environment. No? Uh, because of that, uh, and uh, government has been able to improve its uh, management of its finances, corporations now find it very attractive to to uh, raise money through the bond market. So ap apart from uh, uh, having the opportunity to invest in the Philippine stock market, uh, there are actually a lot of other choices uh, giving you safer uh, options uh, in the market. I guess that's a key word, safer, because there is a lot of reservation regarding giving your money to some fund, fund manager and letting mm -hmm. him do what he, he wills. Yes. If they hope that uh, you will get, uh, get some returns. Yes. Uh, but now things have changed. I guess the banks have taken into account the risk appetite of the, of the, of the depositors. Yes. And now you, you have plan A, plan B, plan C. Yes. Or, uh, so in effect, if you want to invest in the stock market or something a little bit safer, or if in the stock market, in what kinds of uh, stocks? Mm. Uh, are you going blue chips or are you going for the, the more volatile, yes. uh, highly speculative, but higher yielding mm. uh, 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 shares. Yes. So who educates? Who, who goes to the people? Who talks to them, uh, to your depositors? Uh, you, typically, we recommend to uh, investors to, to just go to any of our branches or go online and email us so that we can provide you with the choices that you can make because there are so many choices these days. Uh, in the equities market, there are those which are higher yielding but a little bit riskier. And then there are those which are safer. No? Uh, then across countries, you can also place uh, uh, bonds in the global market, in the ASEAN market, and of course in the Philippine uh, bond market as well, no? where more choices are coming up. So there are many ways that we can help you um, uh, custom fit your investment options. No? Maybe we can ask Mr. Ed Laxon. Sir, uh, does ECOP do anything in, in the way of uh, worker education as to their uh, alternatives as far as their, their financing is concerned? I know that ECOP uh, spearheads the, the giving of uh, non-wage benefits. No? So sometimes that comes in the form of uh, transportation allowance, uh, a, a lot of things. But how about, educa how about education for small businesses or uh, investments? Like what we're discussing with uh, Mr. Well, our, our, our member organizations provide that uh, platform for uh, their employers, uh, employees. And uh, we are monitoring uh, many uh, seminars given by the employers to their workers. One of them is safety, health, and uh, occupational hazards. And the other will be CBAs, how to conduct themselves in the CBA negotiation. So there are a lot of seminars and trainings given by the employers at the firm level. Okay, I have a question for both uh, of our guests. In the States, they, uh, but perhaps uh, to a large extent why they have relative uh, industrial peace there is because a lot of the employees have their investments. It's not uncommon for a blue-collar employee, for instance, to have investments in the stock, uh, in the stock exchange. So basically they have their fund managers there. Uh, would you like to see the, the, the same thing uh, applied in the Philippines so that the pressure, I guess, on the employer side will not be as much because there's the alternate, uh, they, they have their alternative sources of income? There is a proposal to uh, replicate the social uh, security, the temporary, issue, temporary layoff insurance for employees. It's now in the pipeline. Uh -huh. It's being discussed. But I think we can credit the industrial peace in the Philippines and in the, can in the USA to the maturity of labor, uh, the labor organization. They must have realized that we are no longer enemies. We are partners. Okay. Mr. Uh, Neri, what do you Yes, we, in BPI, we also uh, cater to institutions who want to 
invest in the market. And uh, typically, the funds that they uh, handle for in behalf of their employees are bigger and easier to pool with, with uh, many, uh, many types of funds that we can invest in in the market. No? So in a way, the gap has somehow narrowed between uh, what we can offer and what they offer in the U.S. in terms of the instruments that they can avail of. No? Also to beat inflation, of course, which is uh, one of the biggest challenges uh, to the local investor these days. No? Okay, we have a very interesting uh, texted in question, although it's not uh, signed. You don't know who it's from. But why not a tie-up between employers and financing institutions for employees' financial literacy? Are you open to that? Anything to to that work is, with the banks? Anything that is good for our organization, for our employees, we will always uh, accept. We will always uh, embrace any, any initiative. Yes. Um, Actually, we already provide such uh, services to uh, many uh, corporations here in the Philippines. Uh, I, for one, do the presentation sometimes yes. uh, myself, no? uh, particularly on the economic side. No? But uh, we, are, we have a lot of uh, financial advisors and uh, relationship managers that we've trained very hard to, uh, to be able to communicate well not just to individuals, but to corporations uh, who need such uh, services. No? Your business relies to a large extent on a paradigm shift of, uh, of people. Mm -hmm. uh, the, not only the risk appetite, but the, the entire uh, idea mm -hmm. behind savings. Okay. So uh, are things going your way? Is there a change in how Filipinos do, do their uh, banking, their, their uh, mm -hmm. investments? Yes, uh, and in fact, it's not only happening in the local economy, but uh, even uh, Filipinos who work abroad are, are uh, within our reach, no? because we have offices uh, in Europe, uh, in Hong Kong, no? and in many parts of the world where there are a lot of Filipinos um, who have a lot of savings. Uh, some of them put it in real estate. Some, when they get home uh, to the Philippines, they put up a business, a franchising business. No? There, there are many options that we open up for them. So um, the opportunities are out there, and uh, it's just a matter of really getting in touch with your um, with your local bank. No? Okay, J just for the consumption of our audience, the uh, exchange rate as of a couple of uh, minutes ago was at forty two point two six six. So uh, we're talking to a lot of. Uh, OFWs, the Overseas Filipino Workers, the, the, the new heroes who are bringing in the, the foreign exchange. Uh, how, uh, how does your, uh, your services fit their needs? Mm -hmm. uh, for, well, aside from giving them, giving them very competitive uh, exchange rates, uh, uh, we also provide them again with the alternative investments that they can uh, um, place their money in, uh, which are safer, say, in this kind of environment that we are operating in right now. No? And it turns out that the Philippines have actually been very, very resilient. In fact, some would already consider, in, consider them as safe haven, no? uh, quote unquote, of course, uh, safe given haven. our uh, uh, relative relatively, low, relatively low ratings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Laxon, I understand you have uh, another meeting in a while, no? so I'll give you the, the floor. We have uh, r around three minutes. Uh, I understand that ECOP is pursuing several, uh, several measures in Congress when it opens. Uh, can you v very briefly tell us uh, what they are and what you expect to, to achieve? Well, generally, uh, the universal approach is uh, for the amendments of many provisions in the Labor Code. And, uh, but we are overwhelmed by the number of bills pending in Congress, more than a hundred of them, which are disguised as pro-employees, but actually they're against anti-employers. One of which is the pregnant uh, maternity benefit for women. Right now, women are given 60 to 78 days leave uh -huh. under the present law. Yes. There's a bill pending in Congress giving them to 120 days, plus 60 days optional, which means uh, another six months leave. And with all the battered women leave, the gynecological leave, solo parent leave, and all the leaves for women, women effectively will be working only two months in one year. 
So basically, it, so it sounds good, it sounds humane, but, uh, but it actually works against the, the it company. It has so many unintended consequences. The very sector that it's trying to protect the women, it's discriminating against the women. Some employers uh, jokingly said, if this law passes, we will just hire members of Ladlad. Okay. Uh -huh. they, they work like women, but they don't get pregnant. <laughs> All right. So, okay, sir, aside from that, uh, any particular issue that you'd like to take up? Well, we would like a total review of the uh, labor code. As I said, there are so many provisions that, that we need to change. And uh, one of which is the ease of uh, hiring and firing of employees. And the other one is the non-diminution of salaries and wages. Uh -huh. Because once salaries are raised in this country, it defies logic, it defies wisdom, it defies gravity. You cannot bring it down anymore. Whatever the economic condition is, it will stay up. Okay, sir. A lot of people want to start their own business. And uh, starting their own business involves employing certain people. What are the do's and don'ts of... Uh, or is it, is it still worthy to be an employer in the Philippines given the, the scenario that you're uh, telling well, us? Well, you know, Filipinos are uh, very sturdy people and they're always very hopeful. And uh, first of all, we must choose a... A, an industry or a sector or a business that is not overcrowded. Mm -hmm. Let us uh, drop the hot pot dissolve mentality where it's a good business and everybody jumps into it. It, it, uh, it is suicidal. Very briefly now, sir, your, your, uh, your message to the viewers, both the employer side and also the labor unions who may be watching. Well, uh, to our labor, uh, organized labor friends, Please uh, continue your uh, progressive approach to the employment sector and let us maintain the tripartite industrial peace. Let us drop the adversarial stance because we are not the enemy. The enemy is competition. We have to fight other countries in our uh, march towards progress. Thank you very much, Mr. Ed Laxon, President of ECO. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Thank you. Practical Business is back, and we're back with Mr. Uh, June Neri, Chief Economist of the Bank of the Philippine Islands. Now, uh, June, as of about uh, half an hour ago, the stock market was down around 17 points. Uh, yesterday, it was up 64 points, more or less. Yes. Um, what happened today? Well, uh, we're still um, midway through the trading session, so there's still a possible yes. bounce in the afternoon. but. Uh, we suspect that part of it is due to profit-taking. Uh, the Philippines actually outperformed uh, not only the region but the rest of the world the last uh, three trading days. So basically, having bucked the regional trend, what, what gave this gusto to the, the local equities market? Uh, I suppose uh, there's still a large, very large anticipation that uh, in a span of three, six uh, to as much as 12 months, the Philippines will, will get a credit ratings upgrade from either S&P or Moody's no? uh -huh. because of the very strong GDP number that uh, we saw in the first quarter. And this, the numbers that are coming out of late are also supporting the possibility of it being sustained in the second quarter. Okay, uh, our, uh, the, the composite index is more or less at the 5,240 level. And uh, although I forgot the exact uh, the exact uh, level, but uh, this is near the all-time high you were telling me yes. earlier. Yeah. So basically, we're there. We, the, the enthusiasm in the bourse is there. The, the bullishness is there. Uh, why are people so, so enthusiastic given the, 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 the larger scenario, the bigger picture, the, the world picture, which is not that uh, 
uh, that uh, that bright mm -hmm. actually and given the fact that we we, we actually have a uh, brewing territorial dispute mm. in the West Philippine Sea. Yeah, well, this uh, economic numbers that we're showing is generating a lot of excitement in the markets now uh -huh. because it's exactly that thing about our being ha or having a sharp contrast to what's happening elsewhere in the world. No? Banks and sovereigns are being downgraded elsewhere in the world, whereas the Philippines together with uh, its Southeast Asian neighbors are actually being given a positive outlook on its uh, credit ratings. No? So that, aside from the fact that we've, the Philippines has regained a lot of the momentum that it seemed to have lost last year. No? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, at the start of this administration's term, uh, uh, things were looking up and then all of a sudden uh, people were disappointed. But now it seems that we're, we're regaining that, uh, that stature of being, again, uh, a bright spot in, in the region and in the world. No? Okay, the financial capital markets of the world is uh, more or less uh, tied together, more so on a regional basis. Mm. Uh, I mentioned earlier the territorial dispute, the, the escalating tensions. Do, do you see this uh, sort of figuring into the, the, the performance of, of uh, our market? Definitely, there are uh, a number Jitters. of risks, a number of risks and yes. uncertainties that we are monitoring closely. Sometimes events just come from left field. I mean, there's really no way of being able to predict, for example, uh, whether uh, events in the Middle East could uh, uh, be rekindled and we could see oil going back up to more than $100 per barrel. No? Uh, and of course, these local developments that we're seeing uh, in, in, uh, in our disputes with other countries. No? Which is also oil-based when you really come to think of mm. it. The, 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 re the real price Correct. there is the, the right to, to mine the, the uh, anticipated large uh, yes. deposits of oil or yes. natural gas. 